Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here, and we are on the island. We are at the Grand Hotel, and we're here for the Mackinac Policy Conference, which is put on by the Detroit Regional Chamber of Commerce. And we have with us J.D. Collins, who is the Executive Director, CEO, and Grand Poopa of the uh, SBDC. Did I get that? I think I got that all. Well, that was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> All right, tell everybody about SBDC, because it's an amazing organization. Sure, uh, at our heart, we, we help out entrepreneurs and small businesses through all, throughout all 83 counties in the state of Michigan, and we do that with one-on-one -on -one consulting, uh, and we have expert consultants that can help out with, we'll call it like general business, as well as growth stage businesses, tech businesses, and we also do market research on top of that to help entrepreneurs and small businesses. So, so, so listen, this is an organization that you can walk in the front door with an idea get an appointment, talk to somebody, run the idea by them, and this expert will say, okay, this is worth pursuing, here's stage two, or save your money, save your time. Uh, we, we can absolutely deliver bad news when we have to, but ultimately what we'd like to do is see entrepreneurs become successful small businesses in our state. And so we often do that by helping people with their business plans, their financials, getting loan ready or getting funding ready uh, for their business plans. Well, and here's, here's the really ironic, almost unbelievable point. It's free. It's free. A lot of people tell me, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's free. That's true. Well, uh, we like to use the term no cost because what we do is provide really expert help at no cost to the consumer. Right. And, and there's a big differentiation there, too, by the way. I've always said if you give somebody something, it devalues it right away if they have to pay a little bit or work for it a little bit. But, but this literally is a free service, part of the SBA uh, agency. Yeah, and I'd be remiss if we didn't also recognize the MEDC, the Michigan Economic Development Corporation, for their role in supporting the SBDC as well, along with the, uh, the universities that host us as well. So we have nine host universities throughout the state that host our team and allow us to do the good work that we do. Yeah, and you are actually, as the statewide office, housed uh, in Grand Rapids. Yes, we're housed out of Grand Rapids, out of the Seedman College of Business at Grand Valley State University. So we're uh, very proud Lakers there, but that doesn't mean we don't also support the other uh, eight organizations that host us throughout the state. All right, so tell me how you got there. Give us a little bit of a snapshot of, of JD's career. Oh, JD's career started off in, in corporate America, doing the big corporate jobs. I started off in consulting at Deloitte. Um, loved doing that, uh, you know, re-engineering the corporation stuff back in the, uh, what was that, the late 90s, dating myself, of course. Uh, but then found myself really loving the smaller side of business and then started going smaller, starting my own ventures, and really found myself then consulting other small businesses and found my passion later in life consulting. And um, that kind of led me to the SBDC and ultimately to the role I'm in today. Isn't it funny how once you have a success that other businesses come to you? Because they think we know what we're doing. <laughs> They think we know what we're doing, but you know, at our you do. We're, we're, we're at the like the, at our core. We're all cut of that same yeah. entrepreneurial cloth, and that helps. Yeah. Helps having that entrepreneurial mindset, and that's what we look for in our consultants. Those folks that have been out there, done it, and are able to provide advice now back to those new entrepreneurs. You know, there's a few other things that need to be conveyed with that, and that is, that I, I have always said this to people, uh, because a lot of business agencies are run by people who are never in business, and I say, if you haven't gone to bed on a Wednesday worried about Friday's payroll, you haven't been in business. That's a great point. You know? And so we really look for those skill sets in our consultants. And part of the advice is, hey, we're going to make you sleep easier on Wednesday night because we've done the homework ahead of time. Right, right. Get you prepared is what the whole thing is all about because there's so many pitfalls out there. So um, are you able to chart success rates? I mean, I know you know how many you service, and this is very difficult in the small business sector, but how many actually go on and, and succeed? Uh, we do. We, we chart all of that. One of the things that we are at the SBDC is data rich. We have about 16 years of macro and microeconomic uh, data for all those businesses that we've worked with. And but what I can tell you is some national statistics that show that if you engage with the SBDC as an entrepreneur, you're 20% more likely to be in business after one year. Mm. And so it makes good fundamental like ROI value at the yep. SBDC to engage with us. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, it is. It's a tremendous opportunity. You guys do a tremendous job. And you are everywhere, which is pretty incredible. The relationship with um, colleges, community colleges, et cetera, um, pretty strong one. 
Oh, the, the, it's absolutely fundamental. If you look around the nation, every state has their an SBDC. If you look around the nation, Michigan is the model, like the model of excellence. Michigan does small business development really well. Between the college involvement, between the MEDC's involvement, and then the federal involvement, we are the model that everybody else yearns for. Okay, so tell me about funding. Do you ever get uh, kind of pushed on that? Uh, we constantly get pushed on funding. The great part about us, once again, I talked about being data rich. We can all often go to our funders, our stakeholders, and prove our value. Mm -hmm. And we can show the fact that we helped 8,000 businesses succeed last year, the fact that we helped raise over $250 million, the fact that we were able to start I'm going to get this number wrong, but about 450 businesses last year. With our help, we were able to, you know, positively impact Michigan and the, and the state's economy. Okay, so think about 450 small businesses, the number of people they will employ, the taxes that they will pay that enrich communities that they live in. It, it, it's a social good. It's a social good. It's a community good. If you think about the, the role that small businesses play in communities and main streets, those are the people who you go to ask for for a donation when it comes to your kids' t-ball team. It really has a lot to do with community. We don't want those small doors closed, and we don't. J.D. Collins, uh, State Director of the uh, SBDC, thanks for being with us, bud, and the good work you do. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate your time. You're watching the Michigan Business Feed on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here, and we are on the island right now at the Grand Hotel for the Mackinac Policy Conference put on by the Detroit Regional Chamber of Commerce. We'll be right back with more.